Hey guys, Mike here. I hope you're well. Lots of you will know that over the years I've used a lot of Bose mixing desks as part of my acoustic guitar pedal board setup. Well, I'm really excited because Bose have just released a brand new line of portable PA systems using some of that same technology as well as some really cool new stuff as well. I've got the L1 Pro 8 behind me right now. Let's take a look at it. So, as you know, PA systems are usually thought of as big old clunky things with lots of speakers and a mixer and cables and all sorts of gubbins that you need a man with a van to transport. This was a problem when I was back at school because I wanted to play my, uh, my fingerstyle guitar music at local cafes and bars and stuff, but I didn't have the transport uh, to carry my own PA system like this. This is when I discovered the portable line array style of PA system. Cue embarrassing photo. Look at this photograph! Now this style of PA is super practical for the solo performer for obvious reasons. It's size, right? The smaller the unit is, the more space in the van or car or train or back or whatever. But it wasn't until 2013 when I went over to Austria to the Alps. To play and teach at Thomas Lieb's acoustic guitar boot camp. When I was here, I noticed that he had the Bose L1 system set up for all the students to plug in and play into. Now, the really cool thing about this, when we were doing our sort of open mic night student performances and the teachers' concerts as well, is that when a student plugged in their, say, Martin D28 into the unit, not only did the PA system sound wonderful, very clear, and perfectly loud enough for the space as well, but we could literally select through the tone match function, Martin D28, and all the EQ settings and corresponding levels would match their guitar to create an optimal sound with minimal effort. Well, this past year, Bose have introduced a pro line to their L1 system, and we're gonna be taking a look at the L1 Pro 8 today and what makes it even better than the L1 system I encountered all those years ago. According to the embarrassing photo I just showed you, yeah, 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 yeah. you can clearly see they are ideal for singer-songwriters, soloists, duo players, DJs, things like that in slightly smaller rooms like cafes, restaurants, small clubs, as well as home practice. That's what I've got mine here for. In order to decide on a unit like this, I would say there's three things you have to consider. The sound quality, the usability and features, and the portability. So let's take a detailed look right now. Okay, so the sound, and what makes this thing work? Well, the Pro 8 offers really generous coverage with a C-shaped line array. It features eight articulated two-inch neodymium drivers. Now, this allows the sound to spread all over the place with 180-degree dispersal horizontally, as well as about a 40-degree dispersal vertically. This means that no matter where you are in the room, you're gonna hear this thing. And it's a real testament to the design team at Bose as to how they were able to do that with a design that is so compact. Now the integrated subwoofer with its unique racetrack driver saves a lot of space and packs a powerful punch. They've managed to keep it seven inch by 13 inch, which is incredibly small for the power that it contains within. A very, very cool design idea that adds to the portability as well, which we'll look at later. Now this right here is my old Bose mixer that came with the older L1 PA system. Now I had this mounted to my pedal board for many years, hence the horrible pink tape and little markings showing me where I should put my, my levels. 
Here I was able to access my mute buttons, my channel levels, my gain, as well as EQ, reverb, delay, compression, the tone match stuff, all of that. And typically this would mount onto the L1 system itself. Now I know what you're thinking. On the back panel, we have nowhere near as many features as was present on the previous mixer from the previous generation. This is where the brand new Bose app comes in. This is incredible and has changed the game with portable PA systems. This app can work for free, free. on your phone or tablet, on the music stand, on the side of the stage, with a sound man somewhere else, completely wirelessly. And you can make your PA sound however you want and be in complete control of the functionality at your fingertips. Let's take a look at what's inside here. So the first thing you see when you open the app is the home screen. It'll connect to your device pretty much instantly and open up the mixer window. Here we have the volume, treble, bass and reverb on both of the first two channels, as well as various presets at the bottom as well. Now I can actually play uh, a little bit of music here, some non-copyrighted music through the uh, Bluetooth channel, channel number three. Let's have a listen to that. And I'll mess with the volume here a little bit. Nice and loud. Let's go for super bass. Cycle through some presets at the bottom. Maximum bass. Reset those parameters. Mute it to turn it off. So actually, this is a pretty cool device just to EQ your own music playing from Spotify on your phone, which is pretty, pretty cool. <laughs> But let's look at the main features, the tone match stuff for the actual singer-songwriters and musicians using this thing. So let's look at channel one here. I explained the basic EQ stuff before, but I want you to pay attention to the tone match button at the bottom. I'm gonna turn that to instrument, and this will allow the app and the unit to expect an instrument level. This will be the input that I'll plug, say, a guitar into. I'm gonna hit the settings, I'm gonna select channel one, and now I'm gonna show you the giant list of presets that they have here under instrument. Say I am playing a Taylor guitar, I can select Taylor, I can even select the exact model that I'll be playing, and that will change the EQ parameters and uh, work very, very effectively in that kind of frequency range, okay? Let's actually take it all the way to the default ones, and let me just try and replicate an acoustic steel string with a condenser mic. Loaded, let's see how that sounds. What if we're using a microphone? Well, the same thing. I'll select tone match at the bottom. I'll change it to the microphone setting so it knows to expect a mic. Select settings. And now I can scroll through a giant list of many, many, many microphones. A nice selection of Shure mics. Nice selection of drum mics as well. Awesome. So this makes it very, very easy to use in a live setting, basically. There's not a lot of fiddly buttons. If you have this thing loaded up onto an iPad right in front of you, plug in, select the instrument or the instrument closest to you and go. As I mentioned, when I've used these before in student concerts, at master classes, in clinics all over the world, it's been very, very effective, especially when managing a group of these people when turnaround time, it has to be really, really quick. A great app, very easy to use. Check it out. Now something really, really, really important on the back of the unit is that there's a specialized socket to take external Bose mixers, just like the knackered one I showed you and the one that I have on my pedal board currently, the T8S. Look at it, look at its glory, the glorious, the glorious dusty pedal board of tours gone past. So here I can plug this mixer directly into the back of the unit and all the settings are preserved and everything sounds hunky-dory. Craftwork music intensifies. So let's talk about portability. This thing is incredibly light. It weighs about 17 and a half kilos, which for my American friends is about 38, 39 pounds, and uh, packs down really, really neatly into two carry bags. Because it doesn't have a mixer, because obviously the interface is built in and you're gonna carry your phone or tablet with you anyway, it's an incredibly portable package requiring only one lead, which is obviously the mains lead. Something else to add to that actually is that although no one's flying right now because of COVID, because of the portability of the unit itself, the Pro 8 could probably be taken as hand luggage on an airplane. Enough is enough! I have had it with these mother PA system on this mother plane! Everybody strap in! 
That's something to consider. As someone who travels a lot, uh, portability is everything. So what are my honest thoughts? Well, in conclusion, this is a vast improvement on the previous L1, simply because it can do everything that that did, as we've mentioned, and more in an incredibly simple interface that supersedes and improves upon the original. Someone with zero live sound experience can operate this. I know PA system is quite a scary word for guitar players sometimes. I promise this interface will make it incredibly easy, as well as the app integration being superb. The sound dispersion is an improvement because of the uh, the way the speakers are positioned. Look at this. This is sound dispersion. You can tell that it's is an improvement be because of the way it is. Wow. And I'd also say, actually, as a side note, that at very low volumes on the default EQ, it is quite treble heavy. Um, that's because of the projection of the treble end. However, when you turn it up to a more of a performance level, that does even out massively, even on the default settings. So just a quick note, if you were using it to say, listen to music through the Bluetooth from your phone, just having it as a stereo in the corner of your room, I would recommend tweaking the bass, turn the bass and the sub up a little bit for that but that's the only small criticism, is that the default EQ at incredibly low levels is a little top heavy. That's it. Thank you so much, Bose, for sending this out for me to review. Highly recommend it, the L1 Pro 8, and I'm looking forward to, uh, well, testing it out live one day. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. There's more music, tuition, and podcast episodes on this channel, and I'll see you back out there on the road when real life comes back to normal. Peace now. You'll have to edit it to make me appear actually not a twi-